sorry guys i thought my camera was recording but it wasn't so in here i already have um, one tablespoon of coffee and uh, we need six tablespoons of coffee for our body scrub um coffee coffee is very good for the skin if you don't know don't think you only drink coffee coffee is very good for the skin it prevents premature aging prevents premature aging of the skin those are three three tablespoons uh, it also reduces uh, the appearance of cellulites hope oh, that's the, the correct pronunciation <laughs> sorry this is four we have two more and it also helps in the skin tone so even the skin tone of your of your skin yeah those are the, the, the few benefits of coffee okay uh, we move on to the next ingredient we need sugar sugar helps in unclogging pores so sugar we need four tablespoons that is one it helps in unclogging pores it helps in other it helps uh, removing dead skin cells it's a it's a very good exfoliator those are two three four uh, oil oil you can use any oil of your choice but um, I would recommend uh, coconut, I would recommend almond, I would recommend uh, olive oil. Me, I'm using soybean oil. Soybean oil is very rich in vitamin E. It protects against uh, inflammation. So oil, we need uh, six tablespoons of oil. It helps uh, in inflammation, it helps in skin. It helps the skin to retain the moisture. Other two. It helps the skin to reduce the signs of aging. Three. Reduce the signs of aging, dullness, and wrinkles. Four. It smooths the skin and gives you with that youthful looking skin. We all want to look younger. Five, six, six, one. If you want that youthful skin, you want to keep looking younger, you want to reduce the signs of aging. We know we, we want to grow old, but we don't want to, to, to look dull. We don't want those wrinkles. So, Seabin is very good for that. Have honey. Honey has anti antioxidants and uh, anti antiseptic and antibacterial. So it's very good for the skin. The ability to help the, if you have oily and acne prone, you need honey. Even if you don't have uh, acne and and the oily skin, you still need honey. So we need two tablespoons of honey. That is one. So honey helps your skin to keep moisture. It uh, it's a most, it's an it's a humectant, so it keeps your skin to to keep moisture. So our next ingredient is uh, vitamin E. Vitamin E prevents it, it prevents and treats fine lines. Uh, we need one tablespoon. Helps and prevents fine lines. There's wrinkles. It helps in reducing wrinkles. It helps in the skin itching. It's, it's a moisturizer. It moisturizes the skin. It adds glow and uh, makes your skin smooth and healthy. So you really need vitamin E. It also helps in uh, in hyperpigmentation. Uh, the, you can add more if you want, but this is enough for me. Mix this. Yeah, I don't want my scrub to be. Yeah, I want it kind of runny. want it kind of runny like this you see uh, if you don't scrub you have never done any scrubbing you need to start doing so because 
uh, research has it that humans lose around 500 million skin cells every day uh, meaning dead skin can build up pretty quickly so experts advise us to exfoliate at least two to three times a week as long as your skin can handle so if you know that your skin can handle it please always exfoliate at least two to three times a week for better results and uh, once you start you will tell you will tell the benefits and my benefit is just to remove the dead skin cells like i said yeah you know the dead skin cells and also it helps the the other products to penetrate very well in the skin so if you scrub uh, if you exfoliate that means that whatever you apply on your skin will be able to penetrate very well because you have removed that dead skin cells from your skin so that's why you need to scrub that's why you need to exfoliate it also removes uh, it helps the, uh, to reduce the chances of break breakouts lastly we need uh, this is just a uh, just uh, for for what if you have it it's fine you can go ahead and add it this is peppermint peppermint essential oil but if you don't have it it's still fine you can still go ahead and use whatever you have uh, naturally it cleanses the skin and has antiseptic and antibacterial properties so i need i need those are um, four five i don't know i just put as much just put like 10 drops so uh it it also has cooling effects which soothes irritation and inflammation due to agony so use you can use also peppermint is uh, not on the side for for the for the scent the smell but it also it's very good for the skin so if you don't have any essential oil because they are very expensive they are not easy to find they are easy to find but sometimes they are very expensive but if you have one well and good you can add it there if you have paper me i'm just going to apply this on my on my body i will not show you that part okay, cheers